Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about some of the best new features that you will find on the lock screen of your new iOS 17 device. Now iOS 17 is coming out in a couple of weeks to the public and it's awesome. It has a bunch of new features and actually has a lot of cool new features for the lock screen as well. Now when thinking iOS 17 and lock screen, you'll probably think just about the new standby mode, but it has a lot more and some actually very, very useful and very cool features. So let's take a look at 10 new features that you will find on your device running iOS 17 on the lock screen part. First of all, are interactive widgets. As you know, with iOS 17, interactive widgets on the home screen, but they do also work on the lock screen. So here I have one for reminders, and all I have to do here is just tab there to actually just check out that reminder. So you don't actually need to open the app or do something else. You just check out the reminders just like that with the new interactive widgets on iOS 17. And this of course will get way, way better once we get our hands on third party interactive widgets. Those will be even better and we will be able to do a lot more from the lock screen and home screen interactive widgets. The standby mode on iOS 17 also has some really cool features. So if you go to the photos feature, when you scroll up and down here, you can move to this section where it says tap and hold to select your own album. Now this usually is done automatically with the two other sections, but with this section you can tap and hold here and just pick any album you want from your camera roll and then have it slide here on your standby mode. Now on the standby mode, you will of course have your widgets here, but if you tap on one of the widgets, it will show you this little arrow right there. Now that arrow will allow you to open those apps on your iPhone. So if I just tap on any of these different like widgets that I have on this one or this one, you can see that little arrow right there, which now allows me to open the app. The standby mode on iOS 17 will also work with live activities. So if you're using live activities on your lock screen, as soon as your iPhone goes into the standby mode, you will see this button in the middle of the screen. Now that button lets you open that live activity. So it won't take you back to the lock screen, but it will actually open it right here on the standby mode. In this case, I have an app launcher as the live activity on the lock screen. And of course I can have all of these apps and toggles also open here on the standby mode and of course, even open each of them directly from here. Now, iOS 17 has also a pretty cool feature when it comes to Siri. This new version of iOS will allow to use Siri even on the lock screen of your device. So even when your iPhone is locked. So if you just leave your iPhone somewhere or sitting on a table or somewhere and you wanna give Siri a command, you don't need to have your iPhone unlocked in order to do that. Now the way that works, simply head onto your settings and then go here under Siri and search. You will find here a button that says allow Siri when locked. You enable this and you will be able to actually use Siri all the time, of course, for this feature to be enabled, you will need to enter your passcode here. Once you have done that, you can now start to use Siri without having to unlock your device at all. Moving to the lock screen customization options, with iOS 17, you will have a lot more of them. First of all, you will have the ability to make the font now thinner or thicker with this slider right here. You can see it actually works quite good and with some of the latest betas, I believe beta five or six, Apple has actually fixed this. So now it gets really, really thin. So you will have this slider allowing you to do that. And of course we have some pretty cool fonts, which you know, now you can make look even better with the ability to make them bigger or smaller. And live wallpapers are also back with iOS 17. Well, the lock screen of iOS 17 will allow you to do that, but it won't work like it used to work with every live wallpaper. It will actually only work with certain live photos that you have taken with a camera of your iPhone. So once you set one of those photos as your wallpaper, you will get this new button right here. Now tapping on it, you can see it enables this cool new feature to your iOS 17's lock screen. Now you can see if we just add this as a wallpaper, set it as a pair, you can see how it works. Basically when you wake up the screen of your iPhone, it will give that like cool animation and movement there on the live picture, which is actually quite cool. But unfortunately, again, you will only be able to set these wallpapers from live photos that you have taken with your iPhone. 
Now you can also set some wallpapers, which are really cool from portrait pictures that you have taken with the camera of your iPhone. Now, when setting these, all you have to do now, this is the original photo right here. Just swipe like this and it will give your photo some really, really cool effects. Like you can see this one right here. We can even actually customize this as easy as that. And we have a lot more effects. You can see how cool this is with the background color right there, which of course we can customize and just pick any color we want. You can see how cool that wallpaper looks. You will have a bunch of like different wallpapers that it will create for you with like different modes. And of course, as you can see right here, it actually uses like machine learning to actually pick colors from the photo that you have taken and combine those to actually recreate these amazing wallpapers, which of course you can use on the lock screen of your device and make your device actually look really, really unique. Now, another cool feature that you will find on the lock screen of your device when customizing it is that when you go to a wallpaper like this one, which is of course the default iOS 17 wallpaper, which actually has a dark mode and a light mode, you can now tap this button right here and it lets you choose which mode you want to use. If you switch to automatic, then of course it will switch to the light mode and the dark mode wallpaper based on the setting that you have on your device for the appearance, light mode or dark mode. Or you can just pick any of the modes you want and then it doesn't matter which like which actually appearance you're using on your device it will always stay on that same mode and last but not least for wallpapers that have depth effect you will have a button here which allows it to easily turn on or off the depth effect for that wallpaper so as you can see right here at the clock we can switch depth on or off as easy as that so that is it for this video guys these are some of the best new features that you will be able to find on your device on the lock screen are running the new iOS 17 which is currently on beta 8 most likely the last beta of iOS 17 before we move to the RC version which will happen next week after the iPhone 15 event and then of course most likely on September 18th we're getting the final release of iOS 17 to the public so make sure to subscribe if you want to see more iOS 17 videos leave a like if you in this one if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys on the next one